icebreaker speech. Now this is the first speech, and it's in the Pathways program. He's doing a pathway called Presentation Mastery. So this is level one, project one. The description is to introduce himself to the club, these are his objectives, and to learn the basic structure of a public speech. We are going to hear from Jet Rico tonight, and Jet says, I struggle with confronting fears like everyone else. In this speech, I will share my personal life path that I used to crawl, I used to crawl out of the hell called social anxiety and hopefully spark a light in the listeners to find their own personal life path that works for them. So we are gonna welcome up onto the stage Jet Rico in, with a speech entitled Baby Steps. Yeah. It was 4 a.m. in the morning before school. I wake up, go to the bathroom, take my pajamas off, I turned the shower on, I let it run, but I didn't go in yet. See, I grew up in a small town in the Philippines called San Pedro Laguna to two lower middle class parents. Our shower did not have a control valve back then. <laughs> Couldn't afford them. In the Philippines, that was more of an upper class luxury. So it was always a mystery how hot or cold the water was gonna be. And as for a nine year old kid, that was terrifying. I remember myself, he's standing right outside the shower curtains Shaking myself, psyching myself up. Suspense is building. I look myself in the mirror, my hair all messed up, my eyes still red from waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. And I tell myself, come on, Jet, you can do this. You're a man now. You're nine years old, for God's sake. As soon as I muster up enough courage, that's baby step it. I test the water by my fingertips for a split second. As soon as the water touches the tip of my fingers, immediately sets the expectation for the whole shower. It's warm. Perfect, hop in the shower right away. It's cold. Oh boy. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna have a rough time. But I keep on baby stepping from the tip of my fingers, to my hands, to my elbow, to my shoulders, to my head, until completely stepped inside the shower. For the first 10 seconds, I'm overwhelmed by this unimaginable fear, discomfort, and pain. After a few seconds, I start to feel better. After a while, I start to realize this ain't that bad. Mrs. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and esteemed guests. So this is my life hack. See, the point of the story is that everyone has things we're afraid of doing. Maybe you're afraid of starting that business. Maybe you're afraid of asking that girl out. Maybe for some of you here, you're just afraid of putting yourself out there and letting other people hear your opinions. Now, I'm not here to tell anyone how to live their lives. It's not the point of what I'm doing at all. Neither am I here to say that this is the key to success. You gotta understand, I'm 23 years old, highly inexperienced with a lot of things in life compared to many of you in this room. All I wanna share with you tonight is the thing that's helped me. It's the thing that I repeat to myself over and over and over again to get from that dark, lonely place where I used to be to just be normal. Now when I first RSVP'd on Eventbrite, I was terrified. Not because I might be called for table topics, not because I might not be the best speaker. I was what you'd call a natural introvert. So the thing that I was terrified of was that there were gonna be a lot of people and someone might try to talk to me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Looking back, it was such a stupid thing to be afraid of, but here's the reality. That's a natural fear that we have. Maybe some of you in the audience right now were in the exact same situation as me back then. Maybe you're a kind person, you're a smart person, intelligent, you care for other people, you're funny on Twitter. But somehow you just can't seem to put yourself out there. Right? The thing that I do whenever I see myself in that situation is to baby step. Yeah, what do you mean to baby step? It's a great <laughs> question. Let me give you an analogy to my nine year old cold shower story. Imagine we're right at the base of a mountain. We look all the way up to the peak. And we're supposed to say, let's say we're supposed to climb all the way up to the peak. You're already thinking to yourself, I don't know man, it's a huge ass mountain, I don't think I can climb up there. You already psych yourself out too much that you will not even attempt to climb that mountain. On the other hand, say you tell yourself this, if I could just take one step, I already win. How easy would that be, right? The key is to only take a look at the step 
right in front of you. It's a trick you've made every single time that you already win. You take one step, tell yourself, nothing bad happened, I'm still alive, and I already win. And you do it again. You take another step, and another step, and another step. Before you even know it, you're already halfway there, you didn't even notice it. That's what I mean by baby step. For those of you who were in a similar spot as me back then, stuck in your head, you're thinking, how do I get these people to like me? What are these people gonna think of me? How do I look? I'm talking about Game of Thrones right now, but I don't know how to jump into that conversation. Ask yourself, what is the next immediate step right in front of you? And I asked myself the exact same question back then. And the answer that I found was simply this. Hi, I'm Jet. Good to meet you. That's it. This speech is my baby step. As I said, we all have those things we're afraid to dive into. Those things, that maybe conversations that we're afraid to have, or just things in life in general that we're afraid to even consider. But deep down, really want to. If you could take away just one thing from what I share with you tonight, that'd be to take a baby step towards that direction.